Oh, yeah. The first and ten for the Tigers. Oh, This is a review of the Panasonic Full HD 90 times zoom camcorder. Now this camcorder you'd find at Walmart, Target, it's usually like their, one of their lowest camcorders. It's, it's 200 bucks, so it's like on the lower end. Uh, so the, one of the reasons that you'd get a camcorder and the main reason is because of the, the zoom. And it's so easy to zoom because you can use this trigger to zoom in and out and it's really fast. So Normally, you would just use your smartphone to pull it out, take video, but this is a specific reason that you'd buy this. Like some people might buy it for surveillance, but I think the majority of these are sold uh, to film like kids' games. Like if there's a soccer game, football game, you know, you're up in the stands, you can't really zoom in on your phone. Some of them zoom okay, but uh, they definitely don't have 90 uh, zoom on them. And this zoom is pretty incredible. This also has some pretty good image stabilization. So, like if you have it at 90 zoom, uh, you can imagine how hard, it, how steady you have to hold that in your hand. Um, if not, it's it's going to move back and forth really quick. Uh, the further you zoom out, um, especially if you don't have a tripod, and a lot of times you just have it in your hand, you're filming. Uh, but I would say this is a really good cam quarter at the end of this you can see all the footage that I have taken with it so you can see it, zoom in zoom out you get to check all that out um, from the Sony that we've reviewed had reviewed a Sony camcorder uh, like a low end just like this $200 camcorder and one of the things that I like better on the Sony was the screen when you open this it started up like in two seconds it's like really quick on this one it takes a little longer when you open the screen it takes about five seconds not a huge not a huge deal um, but the image stabilization on here is amazing uh, last year's model uh, the upper model is what the, um, they took the image stabilization from that upper model and put it on this. So they did a really good job on that. The zoom is incredible. The little screen here, I think it's pretty good. It's touch screen. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, it has a really good image on here. So like if you're, if you're playing back videos, it's 1080p, uh, has a great battery life. Uh, you know all the bells and whistles you can go out and record a whole game whole football game and don't have to worry about the battery uh, but like I said again the main thing is the zoom uh, if you move it around really fast panning while you have it zoomed out sometimes you can see some artifacts but uh, I mean not not really a big deal at all it has this where you can hold it in your hand uh, on the Sony they did have a good idea the Sony has the charging cable and the transfer cable it comes out here and it kind of slides into here so you can pull it out and plug it into your computer on this one you'd have to have a uh, you know you have to have the separate cable the charging also on here is a USB charger it's the round one it's actually different from the other chargers so you have to have two chargers um, another it's not a big deal you can also take pictures on this by pushing this button up here um, and one of the things uh, the same as the Sony the low end is you have to manually uh, turn on and off the cover which not is, a, is not a huge thing and it'll tell you if the covers on when you're trying to record um, I thought always oh, it would be cool if you open this door uh, that it automatically opens that uh, cover lens cover too but no, not not a big deal at all but yeah if you're want to film kids events or anything that you have to zoom that you have to get in like maybe out at a deer lease or something this is uh i'm really impressed with the zoom on this uh, panasonic so check out all the video next so you can you can see exactly what it's capable of uh, and let me know what you think about it i'd love to hear your comments uh, if you think this sub 200 dollar camera is the bomb or do you think there's a better one all right thanks for watching have a great day Number 32 Walsh with the carry. Red in the backfield, but number 77 for Riley Beard. Second down and goal for the Panthers at the 10-yard line of the Tigers.
And off number 11, Preston Carter up the middle. Met by several Tigers. All right, we're gonna do another test with this camera. Let's say you're using this for surveillance. You might wanna zoom in on a tag or a person. So we're gonna see how far this uh, zoom. Now this is, again, we're just holding it in our hand here. So this is 90 times maximum zoom. And you have to hold it pretty steady. If you had a tripod, I'm sure it'd be so much easier. But this one is so much easier than uh, the other Sony that we've reviewed because I think the image stabilization is so much better. So like if you just move around a little bit, um, as you can see it kind of it keeps it from moving back and forth real fast. The stabilization, you can still see it move but it's not jittery. Uh, so this is at 90 uh, zoom and on the Sony I think we were at, I can't remember, I think it was 57 but at 57 it was like moving like this, you could barely hold it. Um, you just hold it really, really, really steady. So I'm holding this pretty steady, but not uh, not super steady as you can see. But let's see how. So this is maximum zoom at 90, and you can see incredibly well, pretty phenomenal actually. So now what we want to do is we're gonna we're gonna see how good the Im image stabilization is, like running. Um, but I mean, I really don't see you running with this thing, and uh, so. We're, but we are going to walk with it and then run with it and see how the Im image stabilization is. Um, I think the image stabilization would be more when you're zooming in, just to kind of keep it stable. Uh, while you, as your hand kind of moves just a little bit, no matter how hard you try to hold it stable. Uh, so we're gonna. Um, so I think that's really what it's made for, not like running up and down. But I'd just be curious to see how it works walking around, because uh, I know. Some phones, it'll make you dizzy because it jitters so much as you're walking. Especially, there's no way you can run. But let's see what it can do. So we're walking now. And we're going to do a little bit of run. Here we go. We're going to start running now. See how much wind noise we get too. Slow down, turn around here. All right, we're gonna run back. Okay, well, there we go. So that was the run. We'll see how that turns out on film. And I'm going to do one more zoom here. This is really phenomenal zoom. Yeah, I mean, the zoom on this is just crazy. Hard to believe. The quality of it. All right, we're going to take a look at low light. Now we're inside the house and we have one lamp on in here and the lamp has very low light on it so see how good this looks. Usually these camcorders are just best used outside in real bright light. They're not made to use inside because they're but this one actually looks pretty good. The other one that uh, was tested the Sony but it was an older model it was incredibly grainy and hard to see, but I'm really, this one's not too bad. Let's do a zoom here. Let's walk in here and take a look. Yeah, actually pretty impressive. really impressive I can't believe it you know, the other one that was tested uh, it, like taking video like this is incredibly grainy looking so this one is very impressive indeed let's take a look at this the 
let's see if how the zoom works inside. Take just a minute to autofocus. Yeah, the autofocus is not. I don't know what's going on with that. It does see the faces over there, but in here, for some reason, it's not liking this. So I don't know what you do on that. Oh, there it goes. Now it sees the face. Take just a minute. Still not autofocusing too good. I don't, I'm not for sure. Let's try this picture over here. Yeah, maybe it's just zooming in too far. It can't. Let's try this one. Yeah, and it could have something to do. It's just too close. Let's try this picture back here. And this is low light. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of light in there. Yeah, it seems to be focusing pretty good. So I guess um, if you try to zoom in, you're real close to something. It just doesn't work too good. You have to be further away. But uh, this is, even even it knows it's the faces, that's pretty incredible. Number four, Randy Slaughter. Number four, Randy Slaughter. <laughs> Take it by number eight, Hines. Toss to number 22, Hayden Allen. Number five, Kate Mudd. Ball taken by number four, Slaughter, and he is met by number 11. <laughs> taken by number four, Randy Slaughter. Taken down by number eight, Spencer High. First and... Panthers. Tiger, 49 yard line. Number eight hides with ball taken by number eight. Excuse me, number two, Ethan Richardson. And off number left, up the middle.
Toss. Take it by number five, Blake Good. Handoff number three. Handoff number 21, Kobe Stubbs. Handoff number 21, Stubbs around the... Handoff number 33, Elijah Bay. Handoff number 21, Stubbs up the middle, and he's got a Panther first. Handoff number 20.